Hey YouTube, so I'm back. Um, feels like I haven't been on camera in a while. I think it's cause like, you know, at the beginning of this journey, I was like recording every day, or at least I was not recording every day. I was at least taking pictures every day for like a few weeks straight. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm at three months post-op now. Um, today's May 10th and I got my surgery February 8th. So yeah. Um, so updates on everything. I feel like you can see, I don't have anything on my face. Like there's nothing on my skin. My skin is still pretty bad, at least compared to what it was for surgery. Like my skin texture was good. I didn't have a bumpy face. Um, my skin is still a little bumpy, but it's way better. Like um hopefully as you can tell my swelling has improved greatly um so there's that i feel like i don't know if it's just because i have like a new structure and shape now but um <laughs> i don't know it's what this thing um but i feel like it used to be okay it just won't stay um sorry anyway <laughs> Um, anyway, I feel like my face used to be more like, like, I know, this look weird to do, but like, snatched, like I had no cheek fat or anything. It was like, like that, and I kind of like that look. <laughs> but this looks okay too, honestly. Um, I'm much happier with like how I'm looking, because at first I was like, what did I do to my face? Like, how long am I going to have this puffy look? Which I still feel puffy sometimes. Like, when I try to take pictures or whatever. But, um, it's fine. My, um, my jaw functionality is good. I think for where I'm at. Like, I don't know how, exactly how wide I'm supposed to be able to open. I think it's different for everybody. So there, it's really not like a one size fit all type of deal. I think I can open decently wide. I don't have my rubber bands on right now, but I'm still wearing those 12 to 14 hours a day. Really, I've been doing 12. Don't tell my doctor, um, but at least I'm wearing them. Um, what else? I'm eating like regular things, still not eating any raw vegetables. Um, obviously I'm eating fruits. Anything that's just like hard for the average person, I'm not trying that right now. Like um, I'm also not having steaks or like pork chops, but I'm eating fish, chicken, beef, pork sausage, pretty much everything I ate before. Um, I can bite into burgers. As long as it's not, you know, huge. I don't eat like that anyway. Um, my weight has been pretty stable so like i had like ate a lot before surgery intentionally because i was like i'm gonna miss eating this stuff so i ended up gaining like a lot of weight but i wanted to gain because i knew i would end up losing so much and i didn't want to be you know too skinny for you know what i like for my body um so i'd say since surgery i probably gained maybe two pounds um I haven't gained much surprisingly because I've been eating a lot at least it feels like a lot it's probably not a lot compared to what I used to eat but for me it feels like a lot like um I'm definitely eating ice cream a lot uh, just because I don't know it was like something that was like bringing comfort to me during my recovery so I still eat that um but yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else. I'm not really experiencing any pain besides my cheek from my braces. I'm so over braces. Like, um, I have to show when I record next time because I don't know exactly where it's at. But I got some, um, like, gushy goo from an orthodontist. It's supposed to be better than wax because the wax was, like, not cutting it. Like, literally, my wires was going straight through the wax. It was not helpful. Um, so I had went back to the orthodontist a second time. I know like on my last video, I told you guys I was going back. I went back again. It's like I went back twice for this one side that I just like, I couldn't, I couldn't stand it. Um, I'm much better now. Uh, I do hear my jaw popping sometimes. And like one time I was like out with my friends and I want to say I like 
yawned and it was loud like in here obviously it's not like everybody can hear it because that would be scary but like i could hear it and it kind of like startled me a little bit because it was the first time i heard that like not gonna lie like when it comes to yawning like i kind of cut my yawns off i'm like oh and i'm like okay <laughs> like when i was in the i don't remember talking about this um but when i was in like the early weeks of healing like i was scared to yawn <laughs> um but yeah, I think that's about it. Um, not really in pain. Um, I will say my face, I do feel like I still have a little bit of swelling because I can feel it. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Um, I can just feel that I have like fluids or something in my face. And I still have like numbness um, in this region of, yeah, in this area. I think my chin, chin is starting to get a little feeling though, but bottom lip no uh sun bite much much better okay i do feel like i'm trying to figure out my smile um because it just doesn't look the same i feel like it looks like it's fake now but it's like no i'm actually smiling <laughs> um doesn't take any use to i guess uh yeah that's it for today see you guys next time Wow, every time I get on camera now, I feel like, wow, it's been so long. Um, but yeah, this is where I'm at. I'm three months post-op. Um, I got my surgery February 8th. Today's May 20-something, but this is what I'm looking like. Um, update on my skin is getting so much better. Like, And thank God, because I was like looking up dermatologists and everything. I was like, there's no way. <laughs> There's no way that I'm gonna be stuck like this. Excuse my couch, I got 100 pillows. And I have to move them around to relax. But yeah, um, excuse me. Okay, um, but so I feel like I've been eating pretty normal. I'm not exactly sure like how much I should be able to open my mouth by now. Um, I've been eating things that are kind of hard, like cucumbers. If you cut them thick enough, they're harder than you think, okay? Especially if you leave skin on. Um, I've been eating chips, like Lay's chips. Um, what else have I been eating? I'm about to try to eat a Cheeto for the first time since jaw surgery. I've been eating Cheetos Puffs, but you know these are crunchy. So I'm like, are they going to hurt? Can I do it? So I figured like, oh, let me just pull my camera out and test feels weird but edible wow that tastes really salty so i don't know if it's just me but like after getting double jaw surgery my taste buds like reset like everything tastes so different now after not eating for two months i mean i don't remember the last time i had like a cheeto like actual cheetos like i said i've been eating the puffs which the puffs are bigger so i have to really like open but these are just pretty crunchy, like not gonna lie. It would take me a while to eat these and I'll probably just let them get a little bit soft. I'm not gonna finish eating them on camera, but yeah. Um, what's new? Um, oh, I'm going to the orthodontist tomorrow. I probably should have just did this tomorrow. So I'm gonna just like film a couple of minutes tomorrow and share an update. Um, about what the doctor says. Hopefully she will have good news. I don't go back to my surgeon until July, which is like a while from now. So I will also record that and let y'all know how that goes. So yeah. So just wanted to add, when I just tried that Cheeto and camera, I was treated on my right side, um, which is more sensitive, like my gums and stuff. And then I also had like my braces wire literally cutting my cheek on that side. I know I said I went back and got it fixed twice, which I did, but it still bothers me at times. Try chewing these on the left side, 10 out of 10, very easy. Um, which I don't know why I thought it wouldn't be. Um, but yeah, I am very pleased that this is a jaw surgery approved snack. If you are three months post-op, how about it? <laughs> um, I probably could have been eating them sooner than three months post-op, but like how to get intimidated by crunchy things. Um, 
which I eat them now, but it took me a while. Like this is like a long time coming, okay? I think my first snack, like chips wise, was like Lay's or something. They're just so sharp that it just, I can't really enjoy them. These are much better to eat, in my opinion, you know, for my mouth situation, much more comfortable. But yeah. Hey YouTube, so it has been quite a while, but I'm back. Um, so this is around the month of June. Um, honestly, this is like the middle of the month of recording. So I've been slacking off a little bit. I just kind of got in a little funk and then I got out of my groove of just like recording or blogging every day, like um, with my pro progress. <laughs> Um, so I just want to get on here real quick and just talk about a couple of things while I have a few minutes. Um, so I want to say last week I went to the orthodontist. Um, I'm about to put them on, but I am still wearing my rubber bands that I've been wearing since jaw surgery. Um, I'm only wearing two, one on each side, like I'm like here to here and like a box, like a forgot the name of the shape. I don't know, but I'm still wearing them, unfortunately. Um, it seems that I'm just going to keep them on until my braces are off. So I'm not one of the lucky ones. So don't feel bad if you're experiencing the same thing. Um, I still have numbness. It's like, ooh, here. So like if I'm eating and there's something on my lip right there and I don't like see it or someone doesn't tell me like it'll just be there and then I'll like look down like what I put on my shirt <laughs> so I'm still numb. And another weird thing is like when I have cold things, um, this spot right here gets cold. So it's like my nerves are all weird. I don't know. Um, other than that, I have been eating as much as I can. <laughs> um, some things like I feel like my gums are like a little sensitive at the top not so not so much at the bottom but it's weird because I do still have numbness on my upper jaw um which I don't know I've been taking a vitamin b complex like my surgeon suggested um and yeah what else um I have not successfully eaten steak and honestly it's not like a food that I was crazy about anyway before surgery so that's kind of like whatever. Raw vegetables, I never really ate them anyway because they always made my gums hurt even before and my teeth hurt even before like I got braces so that's like I'm not worried about that. Um, but like raw carrots and stuff I haven't tried it, it just doesn't even seem like it would be comfortable to eat <laughs> at this stage. But um, what else yeah so my orthodontist told me to come back in four weeks okay i had a phone call come through oh okay so like swelling i'm assuming that it's another mirror right here that i'm looking at but i'm assuming that this is just my look now um which i'm not mad about but i do like okay when you see like my old videos or if you just know me and like you've seen pictures of me I used to have like a very like snapped skinny face and that's because my jaw was like stretching my face I guess because my jaws were uh, my little jaws too long um so now that it's not I feel like I got extra like you know what I'm saying like extra tissue or something so like I don't know I might think I'm being crazy but I just wish it was like like this like I like to have cheeks now and I smile like you can see I got cheeks I don't have like a flat face anymore and I love that that's great I just wish that it was a little more like snatched towards the jaw see like that that's what I want um so yeah oh I was talking about the dentist visit I think I'm jumping all around so sorry anyway um they told me that basically I have one tooth that's like causing me trouble and once that tooth, like once I'm comfortable and it's like not causing me issues anymore, I'm done with braces. So like I go back July 20th um, and hopefully um, they will look at me and be like, okay, you're good to go. Come back in two weeks. I want to take your braces off and give you a retainer so that I can move on with my life, which is what I would really love to happen. Um, but I have like a very stubborn tooth, I hear. So basically, 
um, the tooth is kind of like longer than the other teeth. So when I am chewing, I'm biting down on that one first. And it is as uncomfortable as it sounds. It's very uncomfortable. Um, so that's what they're fixing. So like in my wire, um, it has like a step like up to pull that tooth up. But surprisingly, it hasn't been painful. So I'm a little nervous about that because I'm like, is it working? <laughs> like if it's not hurting me, is my tooth moving? I don't know, but I'm also not used to having an overbite. I'm used to an open bite and an underbite to the point where my teeth don't touch at all, except for in the back. So when I feel them touch, it feels wrong and I don't. I still don't know if it's right, you know what I mean? And I pointed it out to them because I'm. what I'm scared of is like getting my braces off and like not being happy or satisfied because I can't go for round two. I don't want to pay for that. <laughs> um, round one cost me enough. Well, technically this is round two um because i had uh braces when i was like 15 years old so there's that um i'm actually about to get ready to go so maybe i'll get back on camera after so you can kind of see like i don't know what it looks like when i put on like makeup and stuff although i don't wear like heavy makeup so like it does not dramatically change the way i look um but yeah i guess i'll do that <laughs> okay i'm back um put my rubber bands in. Um, I just have two on each side, or I'm sorry, one on each side, two all together. Um, my orthodontist gives me these. Um, I have four of these, okay? And I don't know if it's gross or if, like you're not supposed to do it like that, but I don't change them every day. Like if I'm out at a restaurant or something, I'm not gonna put those back in. And then like, if I forget and I go to a restaurant with them in, I just pop them out and they're gone. Or if I'm like at a friend's house or something, somebody else's house. But like if I'm at home in my apartment, then I'll just put them in the bathroom. And then when I'm done eating, I'll put them back in. So I'm supposed to wear them still for 12 to 14 hours a day, which is a long time. Um, so yeah. Um, and still use these, put them in, take them out. Um, but yeah. All right, I have to go now. Bye.